sometimes we may have to do a voice recording and share it with others. This might be for a reading assignment for class, or it could be to share verbal instructions with your students. So Outlip has built a voice recorder that lets you record your voice online as well as share it easily right after recording. So I'm gonna take you through the steps to make a voice recording and then share the uh, voice recording with other people. So first you open uh, this website, outclip.com slash audio. Uh, you need to be signed into Outclip before you make a voice recording. And once you open this web page, after you're signed in, you will see uh, a button that says allow mic permission. Now clicking it is gonna ask you for permissions uh, so that outclip.com can record your microphone and you click allow. And now you can, you can select what microphone you want to use for recording. It can be the default or it could be any other external microphone that you might have plugged into your computer. And uh, once you're done selecting the audio input device, click record, and now we're recording. So you can either discard, if you're not happy with the voice recording, you want to restart, you can click discard. Yeah, if you want to pause, pause your recording and then resume, you can click the middle button. And if you want to finish recording, then you can click finish. And the voice recording is now ready. It's uh, available online at this link here, which you can copy and share it with others so they can listen to the audio clip. Uh, or you can, the same link can be copied from here as well. Uh, you can give it a title so that when people open the link, they can actually see a title which uh, corresponds to what you made. So just a demo recording. So how I'm gonna save it. Hit enter to save. Uh, you can do several things with the audio recording. You can preview it. Record. And uh, now we're recording. So this is just what I recorded. Uh, you can download this as an MP3. So that's uh, one of the advantages of using uh, Outclip. Uh, the audio file is automatically converted to an MP3, and that's what you can download as well. MP3 is widely recognized. Uh, you can play it on pretty much any computer. Um, or you can delete it if you... If you're not happy with your recording, uh, you can share it. You can share it directly on Twitter or Facebook. And you can also save your audio recording to Drive, Google Drive. So you click this and then uh, just click. You need to connect uh, your, your account to the Google Drive account that you have. And then it shows you what file name is going to be saved on Google Drive. And then click Upload. And this takes a few moments to upload to Google Drive. And once it's done, it gives you the link to your Google Drive. So you can uh, go directly to that link. And here's your recording saved on Google Drive. So. Record. So, so what I just showed you was uh, a really uh, quick way to make a voice recording uh, using outclip.com as well as uh, downloading the mp3 file that you've recorded and to be able to upload that file to Google Drive if that's where you want to save all your files. And this is a link that you can share with people so you can directly share your audio uh, with others and they'll be able to, let me open this uh, link in a, an incognito browser window to show you what it looks like. So when, when somebody opens uh, your audio link and they might not be logged in, this is what they're going to see. All right, so I hope this helps. And thank you for watching.